The status date is used to check a project status at a specific point in time and is typically used to enter view progress information on a past date. As you can see up here, my project was back in 08 and the current date today is 2009. In fact, if I come up here and click on the project menu and go down to project information, you can see the current date as opposed to the actual start date of the project, about one year. Now the status date is not applicable. By default, the status date will always be the current date when you have it set to not applicable. What I want to do is I want to be able to take a look at a particular point in time back when we started the project, let's say about a week out on I think August the 8th or 9th, and see where we were one week from the start date if we were ahead of schedule with some task or behind. And the reason why I might want to do that is because I'm doing research. We have another project coming up in 2010 and I recall using some of the resources back then and I think on some of the resources we were ahead of schedule. So a little bit of research for that point in time. So what I need to do before I can actually see that point in time because I'm going to be viewing that point in time over here in the Gantt chart with a progress line is I need to set that status date. So I can click on the drop down arrow and scroll back to 2008 or better yet select this date copy it control C come over here and select that date and paste over it control V as in Victor then click on the drop down arrow it takes me right back to 08 that's great then I can just select um, August 8th one week from the project start date and click OK now that I have the status date set up I can come over here in the Gantt chart and be able to set a progress line for that status date. It'll draw a red line on that status date and then I can tell if we were ahead or behind at that point in time. Let's go ahead and move forward by right clicking in a blank area anywhere in the uh, Gantt chart. Go down to progress lines and then up here on the date and intervals tab go ahead and check always display current progress line and we're going to display it by default at the project status date. Remember we set that status date up here in the project information screen. Click OK draws the red line. Now that red line is cutting through that status date when it hits the task. If it's going to the left that means it's behind. We're behind schedule there at that point in time. If it goes to the right it means that we were actually ahead of schedule. If it just cuts right through it means well we were on time at that point in time. Now I know we haven't learned how to start entering in actual working times or values and I'll show you that in the next training video how to enter in a task progress but really quickly let me show you what it's like when a task is finished or finished ahead of schedule with this progress line based upon the status date. I'm going to come up here and right click on any one of these toolbars and go down to tracking. This is one way that you can go ahead and enter a task progress is to come down below, select the task and then come up here and check whether it's 75 percent complete, 50 percent complete or 100 percent notice how that progress line for that particular point in time that status date of August 8th now instead of going back shows that it was completed at that time in fact maybe just a little ahead of schedule because now it's bending over to the right to exaggerate let's come down here and say that this task is completed 100 percent well at that point in time again it's bending to the right so there's the line and it's bending over to the right so we're ahead of schedule with those tasks so at that point in time I can say wow these other tasks were behind a little bit were about starting just uh, behind and weren't progressed but these other tasks were ahead of schedule so I could find out what resources were working on those tasks and say hey can you come join us for this next project again the status line here is for me doing research to find out at that point in time where we were at and then to get rid of this of course all you have to do well I've entered the progress for these tasks but you'll learn that in the next training video so I can go ahead and select the task and either hit 0% to undo all that or of course hit the undo button in 0%. To get rid of the progress line again right click on the Gantt chart in a blank area go to the progress lines uncheck the box here click OK gets rid of it and then back to the project menu to project information to get rid of the status date go ahead and type in NA for not applicable. That's what you got to do to be able to have that revert back to the current date as your default and status date. And then click OK. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.